Hello, thank you for your interest in Phi Height Care and for learning how to use the Zoom video conference product. This is free and will allow you to participate in video and audio chats with activities that we have at Phi Height and also directly with your friends. Here's a way how to get everything going on your computer. In this case you have a basic install of Windows 10 which I think most of you will be using. You can change this to suit your operating system, obviously. First thing to do is to open up your web browser and download a copy of Zoom. So go to your web browser. If you're using Microsoft, Microsoft Edge is always installed, or you can use Chrome or Firefox or whatever you normally would. Go up to the address bar at the top and type in the URL of the uh, Zoom company. So it's H. Sorry, it's always love Windows and its additional features. <laughs> Type in here the URL, zoom.us, and then hit enter. Okay, that should take you to this page. Now go to the bottom of this page. So you can take the scroll bar that's on the side of your browser, um, click down the main mouse button, usually the left one, and just drag it all the way down to the bottom. And then down here you will see these um, options. So you want to go download and the meetings client. So we'll click on meetings client. And then on the first one is you want to download the Zoom client for meetings and then you can click the download um, button which will download the exe file that was just is dancing around the mouse. So we'll click download and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll save this file And then let's open the folder. And then in it, you see this file here called Zoom Installer. So what you want to do here is you want to just double click it, which will run it. You should get a question asking if you authorize this because you're running an executable file that you've downloaded from the internet. In this case, we're certain it comes from Zoom, and so it's okay to do this. Right now, it looks like nothing is happening, but if you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there is this flashing shield. So I would draw your attention to that. Click on this uh, shield icon, and you're asked to approve running this executable. And in this case, we'll say yes. And now it's actually installing. Excellent. So at this point, Zoom is running. You can delete the file that you downloaded at any point. I won't mention it again, but you can keep this in your to-do list once everything is successful. So I'll just close this download um, window here. And I'll also close the Microsoft browser, the Edge browser here. So um, at this point, what we want to do is join a meeting. So click, click here. And then it will ask you for the meeting or user ID. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is switch over to the Linux version, which is actually what, what I use as my day-to-day. -day. And I'll pull up a window that looks very similar to this. So when you do that, uh, here's the Linux window, which is actually active. And then in here, you simply enter the 10-digit, uh, sorry, 9-digit uh, meeting ID you can type your name here. It can be just your first name or your last name. You don't uh, need to give your name for privacy reasons if you prefer not to. Turn off my video if you don't want to be seen as you join. And what I will do here is add a meeting ID. So. In my case, there is a meeting ID here of 
967-9667-763. And that is the meeting ID that I will join. Now, if you get a uh, email that has a meeting ID in it, it will look very much like this. So the way to find the meeting ID is in the obvious way, which is this line right here. Or if you have a link that you can click to join, it is the last set of digits after this. So if you do that, you can simply type this number into the join a meeting here, or you can do a copy and paste if that is easier. So you pull up the window, paste the meeting ID or type it in. Sorry, that is not correct. We will just type in the number itself, which is 6349677743. And then just click join. And then the next screen you should see will look just like that, where here I am as I record this. Good to see you. And the main thing on the Zoom window now is that down here you can select your microphone and your video. So if you click here, you're going to mute your microphone, and people on the other side will not be able to hear you. You'll see that with a red microphone icon with a dash through it beside your name. If you want to speak, simply click on the unmute button. And when the icon looks like this, people can hear you. If you have more than one microphone installed on your computer, you can click this up arrow beside the microphone icon and choose which audio settings you want on your computer. So here's the microphone. In this case, I have two microphones installed. One is on the, the webcam, and the other is the headset that you see me wearing right now. You can choose which microphone you want to use for um, when you speak to broadcast your audio to the other participants. And the speaker is where you're going to hear people who or hear, hear the webinar. And again, you can choose which of your speakers you have installed. For example, this is part of the sound card. Uh, this is a um, sound output. And this one here is the headset. The video function works the same way. You can stop your video, in which case it will show only your name. Or you'll see this if you don't have a video camera selected or active. And to start video, the same thing applies as such. And then if you have more than one video camera, you can select it from here. Video settings, you probably don't need to make any changes, but you can certainly play with those setup features and optimize them for your, for your desire. Um, the other functions you probably won't need to use, one that might be interesting is the screen share feature. You can click here, and then you can choose which of your desktop windows you want to be sharing with everybody else. And then once the webinar is done, what you can do is click End Meeting over here, and if you're the host, you'll have this option. If you're visiting a webinar, it will probably just say leave meeting, in which case you can click that, and then Zoom will disappear again. So that's the whole process of using Zoom. I hope this is easy for you to follow. If you have any questions or things aren't working as you'd hoped, please feel free to contact us with the details that are available on the website, freiheit.ca. Again, thank you for taking part. And we hope this will be a rewarding and fun experience for you. Good day.